Hi, I'm attorney Dave Buckley. Uh, what happens if you get in a car accident and the person that hits you, and this is assuming you're not at fault, and the person that hits you doesn't have any insurance or they don't have enough insurance to cover the harm that they've caused to you? Um, in, in Massachusetts, the minimum policy limits that a person can have is what's called a 2040 policy. $20,000 per person, $40,000 per accident. Uh, and it goes up to uh, as, you know, in increments as much as you can afford. Um, 50, 100, 100, 200, 300, 500. Um, in New Hampshire, you're not required to have car insurance, which is amazing. Uh, you should always have car insurance if you can afford it. Um, but the minimum policy coverage in New Hampshire is $25,000, $25,000 per person, $50,000 per accident, and it goes up $50,000, $100,000, $100,000, um, $300,000, uh, $500,000. Um, so if you're ever in an accident where the person, let's say, say in this scenario, the person that hit you didn't have insurance at all, you have, as part of your own insurance policy, your own car insurance policy, something called uninsured motorist coverage, or UM for short. Um, it's also short for underinsured motorist coverage, uh, which is UIM. But it's the same, it's the same concept. There, you have built into your own policy the ability to make a claim on your own policy should the person who hit you either didn't have insurance or didn't have enough insurance. Uh, so to give, to give you an example of that, let's say the person that did uh, did hit you did not have insurance, and and the cost of the harm to you, your own personal injury, is is twenty five thousand um, dollars. If you're in New Hampshire, uh, you can make a claim against your own policy because if you have insurance in New Hampshire, the minimum policy is twenty five fifty, um, and you can make a claim against your own insurance for that that $25,000. This does not affect your premium. It doesn't cause your insurance rates to go up because you're already paying for this. This is part of the policy that you're paying for uh, that's in effect during your accident. Um, if you're in an accident in, 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 in Massachusetts um, and you have a Massachusetts insurance policy and it's the minimum of 2040 uh, and, and your harm is either $20,000 or exceeds that, same thing. You can make a claim against against that policy. Um, and again, it won't affect your, your insurance rates. Um, what happens though, if the person that hits you does have insurance, they either have a $20,000 policy because they're in Massachusetts or a $25,000 policy in, in New Hampshire, but you have a $100,000 injury. Well, let's say in this scenario, you, uh, for your own insurance coverage, you have a 100, 300 policy. You have $100,000 per accident, $300,000 per occurrence. Um, but you've incurred a 20, uh, but you've incurred a $100,000 injury. But the person who hit you only has a $25,000 policy. Well, what we do in that instance is um, we verify the value of your claim to the insurance company of the person that hit you. And we get that $25,000. Uh, for you right away because you have a hundred thousand dollar injury. There's no denying the value of your claim to them, so they'll pay you that twenty five thousand um, dollars. But now you're you're still at a loss of of seventy five thousand dollars because you have a hundred thousand dollar injury. Well, if you have a hundred thousand dollar policy, you can make a claim against your own UM coverage, underinsured motorist coverage, for the balance. You can go after that additional seventy-five thousand um, dollars in your loss against your own insurance company. You can never get more than what your policy limits are. So in this case, a hundred thousand um, dollars. You couldn't get a hundred thousand dollars plus the twenty-five, but you could get the seventy-five on your policy, your UM coverage, um, uh, to make up for uh, the the, uh, the twenty-five thousand dollars that you got from the person to hit you. And I hope I'm making sense here. Um, but the simple uh, issue here is what happens when the person
person who hits you either doesn't have insurance or not enough insurance, provided that you have insurance, you should be okay. You'll have coverage. You'll be able to make a claim against your own policy for under-insurance motorist coverage or uninsured motorist coverage.